So, I'm here in downtown San Antonio. I'm actually right across the street from the River Center Mall. San Antonio has a fascinating history. Now, everybody knows about the Battle of the Alamo, but that doesn't even scratch the surface. So I'm gonna take you to some historical places and tell you a little bit about the history of this town, all right? Also, I'm gonna take you to some places that are just interesting, modern day places where you might wanna visit if you're ever in San Antonio. Then we're gonna talk about the properties that are available if you're interested in living down here. And we're gonna do all of that right now. So other than being just right across the street from the River Center Mall, I'm actually just standing right above the actual river walk. If I turn around and you look down there, there you see it. That's part of the river walk right there. There's a lot of entrances into the river walk from downtown San Antonio. It runs all the way through downtown and even further. So right now I'm standing on a very historic spot. This is a spot that I'll bet you not a one out of a thousand people that live here in this city, people who've lived here all their life could find this spot for you and tell you where it's at. But because you watch my channel, you're gonna know where it's at. So where I'm standing at this very moment, it's where the bodies were burned of the people who were killed during the Battle of the Alamo. You don't believe me? Let me show it to you. So I'm standing here right across the street from the Emily Morgan Hotel. It's right over there. Now Emily Morgan was a biracial black woman. She gave Sam Houston information regarding Santa Ana's whereabouts. Sam Houston followed that information and that's where they captured Santa Ana. And that's where he was defeated. This is actually one of the most famous hat stores in the country. A lot of celebrities buy their cowboy hats here. A lot of Hollywood actors. As a matter of fact, the most famous cowboy in United States history would be John Wayne. It's said that he used to buy all of his hats right here at Paris Hatters. So you think you'd like to live in downtown San Antonio? Well, this first home is actually a single family home. 
It's over 2,100 square feet. It's three bedrooms and two baths. And it has covered parking in the rear. Now this home is completely remodeled and yet they've managed to maintain its original charm and character. Now this home is priced at under $600,000. So I promise you, it's not going to last long. So I'm right across the street from what is now known as the Alamo today, but the Alamo was a much bigger area actually. If you go back to the time of the battle, where I'm standing right now was inside the walls of the Alamo. I see they've added a cannon here. There actually was a cannon on this wall. Now, when Santa Anta called for the people of the Alamo to surrender, he had taken over the Spanish governor's palace at that time, and they fired this cannon on this wall right here in answer to his call for them to surrender. I think that was a pretty definitive no. So now I'm here in front of City Hall, another very historic spot they say these trees right here is where a lot of the soldiers from the Spanish-Mexican War were hung. A lot of Spanish soldiers were hung in these trees right here on these grounds. So, I'm standing here in Main Plaza. Now this building behind me for many years, it was a bookstore. But long before that, it was known as the Council House. And you can Google this. There was a battle known as the Council House Fight. It was the colonists trying to make peace with the uh, Comanches who were holding a bunch of hostages. And so the Comanches came under a flag of truce to talk with them. And they actually brought one of the hostages with them. It was a little girl by the name of Matilda Lockhart. But you could clearly see that she had been terribly abused and mistreated by the Comanches. And this kind of set the colonists off, and so began the big fight. It really turned into a bloodbath. But yeah, there's a ton of history here. Main Plaza. There was another meeting where they met to make peace. And they say they buried the uh, weapons of war right here in Main Plaza. You've heard of bury the hatchet. They say that term originated here because not only did they bury hatchets, they buried whatever weapons they had. The story goes that they even buried a live horse because horses were also considered to be weapons of war. But anyway, the, the San Fernando Cathedral is really where San Antonio was founded. It was called San Fernando de Bear originally, but this is the absolute center of San Antonio. Inside this door right here you'll find a coffin that contains the remains of the people who fought at the Alamo. Well, they're ashes anyway. I already showed you where their bodies were burned. So maybe you're more about the carefree lifestyle. You don't want to have to mow the lawn. How about a nice condo in a high-rise tower with fantastic views of the San Antonio skyline? Now this one features state-of-the-art amenities including motorized window shades, a rooftop pool and spa, 24-hour concierge service. It's right at 1,500 square feet. It's two bedrooms, two baths and the asking price is $640,000. So if you remember, I showed you the cannon over by the Alamo and I told you Santa Ana issued an order for the people in the Alamo to surrender and they fired that cannon at the Spanish governor's palace where 
Santa Ana was hanging out. Well, this is it. This is actually the oldest building in San Antonio. And it's, by some accounts, the most haunted. So if you're looking to be among the city's elite, this might be your cup of tea. Now this high-rise condo has two bedrooms, two and a half baths. It's got almost 1,700 square feet of living space. It has more amenities than I could list in this short video. And of course, you've got the beautiful downtown views and everything that downtown San Antonio has to offer without ever picking up your car keys. At just under $1.3 million, everything about this screams modern elegance. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I used to be a tour guide for the original Alamo City Ghost Tours. That's where I learned the stories of the history of San Antonio. Only I learned them in a lot more detail than I had time to go into. And there are a thousand more stories. I hope you enjoyed the stories. Let me know in the comments. Also, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, that would be fantastic. All of my contact information is in the comments section below the video. So, you can call me, you can text me, you can email me. I'll even put a link to my calendar and you can schedule a Zoom meeting with me. We can meet face to face via Zoom and find out what I can do to help you with your home search. Until then, take care.